they call it a mute button. I, I think from a from a production team, let me know. You know, you got to push the mute button. Good morning to the grind. As I say every day, man, it, we get a chance to get up. We get a chance to, to put the best foot forward. We get a chance to make the best of, of what we want in our lives. And we get a chance to apply a little bit more today to be a little bit better than we were yesterday. This is the Grindology 101 Virtual Podcast. And I'm your guy, Kijana Wan. So it's an amazing show we got lined up today. I got my main man on deck. He's on board in the, in the back studio in the green room getting some of those good a good water and grapes and, and avion and great coupon and all that kind of stuff mr neosha morris uh a network of by natural nature uh, husband father all those uh, amazing things but we're going to talk today about how powerful owning your own business uh means even uh while you're doing your work to work yourself away from work so every day you got to come on this uh podcast and just encourage motivate I believe that success uh, builds momentum upon itself, and the earlier you can capture it, the more of it you can sustain, and the more of it you can enjoy throughout the day, right? So we want to capture that momentum. So this day is going to be about how to own your own business and the power of this, the, the mental, uh, the, the spirit of, man, I got my own, and I'm willing to put my effort towards what I want in my life, towards what I do for work. I'm going to apply that same work ethic time 10 for me. So we're going to get on to it. I'm, I'm going to share, you know, like I do every morning. We got to get up and, and get over that. Just that, that first, that first hump of the day, the, the first hump of the day, the first hump of the day, the first get up of the day. So let's get up and I'm going to bring this young man back up right after this right here. This is the morning grind, grindology, one-on-one podcast, wake up and get it. One of the biggest contradictions of massive success is when people go to their moms, their dads, their brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, they say, listen, one day the world's going to know who I am. One day I will have a Ferrari, the Lambo, the Rolls, the Bentley, the big house, the cars, the backyard with the big swimming pool and an elevator. I'm going to put the biggest party. I'm going to be a millionaire one day. Yet, instead of staying at the office on Friday night, you call your friends and you go party. Instead of waking up Saturday morning to go to the gym, you sleep until 10 o'clock. Instead of reading the book on Sundays, you kick back and watch movies all day long. The reality is very simple. Those who win big, they do four things right. They sleep, sweat, grind, repeat. And they do it over and over and over again until their dreams become a reality. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. You gotta have the mentality to show up every day of your life, no matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life, prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new 100%. You still must grind. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do. But still I grind. And that one day, you see me on a dark alley, run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock and get up and go pursue your dreams. You need to walk through the mud and life gods. If you ever want to get to the higher ground, the higher ground is where you look in the mirror and have respect that you went through the work, the sweat equity at all, and the end product was something you need to travel, a legacy of life that you put your signature to that means something. You're not speaking hollow words. You're back in those motherfuckers up with that. That's what lions do. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions are us. That's what we do for a living. I still grind. I love to grind. If you're competing in one of my businesses, I'm going to kick your ass because I'm going to outgrind you. You have to be willing to work in places people don't see. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. There's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have, who wants the position you are, who wants the job you have, who wants the wife that you have, or the husband. There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you can have. So make that a motivation for you. And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. 
I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. We don't have forever. Let's not act like it. We're all going to die. And so I don't act like I'm going to live forever. So every opportunity I get, I murder it. Process driven. I love it. I'm about that life. I get up every morning at 3 o'clock. When I want to get up, when I don't. When I feel like it and I don't feel like why? Because I'm process driven. I'm not feelings driven. Champions are not feeling driven. Champions don't get up when they want to. And if we're going to be champions, process driven. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Do not stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. This young man I'm going to bring up right here is, is the epitome of that philosophy right there. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. As United States a Postal Service worker by day in California, you know, rain, sleet, snow, which also California, that means fire and wind and all in between as well, delivering the mail, making sure that, you know, we get what we need. But then by night, he said, you know, as a home-based business owner, the opportunity to, to have an unlimited income potential. He said, you know, he's not going to stop when he's tired. He's going to stop when he's done. I'm bringing this young man up, Mr. Neosha Morris, man. They call him the networker. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning to the grind. How you doing there, Mr. Owens? Oh, man, I'm, I'm fired up. We got we got you on this morning, man. You're, you're a, a, a amazing um, a father, you know, son, granddad, all those other things, man. And, and, and you said uh you know it is it's more than about you it's about other people and just knowing you my brother uh we get a chance to make an impact together so it's an honor to have you on this morning man tell me a little bit about what's going on with you out there in uh, ontario california right man it's a pleasure man appreciate you having me on the grind and great morning to everybody you know the ones that get up early get it done appreciate you guys being here but absolutely we out here in ontario man like i said i like you mentioned, I worked uh, 24 years for the United States Postal Service, and uh, that's an amazing career. But I'm out here also working a home-based business. So I'm out here helping people uh, earn some additional income from home. I'm creating relationships. And what we're doing is we're just trying to find the people that want to kind of get out of the rat race and want to change their future. So we're just trying to find like-minded people like yourself, sir out here around the Ontario area and and let's link arms and let's work together. You know, um, and being able to own your own business, you know, set yourself free. You, you, you know what the program is at work. We all work. We all have jobs. We all have responsibilities. Uh, we, we know what that is. Hours for dollars. You work this many hours, you get that many dollars. It's straight across the line, right? But what we know is by having an opportunity to apply that type of work level, never work, uh, never late, uh, always, you know, willing to stay late, willing to stay longer, willing to do more, uh, all those things for work. What, what's applying that kind of life principle, work principle, work ethic to work? How's those transferable skills uh, operate with home-based uh, business ownership? Man, you know what? If we could work hard for them, why not for ourselves? Because we have all the skills and the tools we need in order to achieve anything we want. But however, sometimes we get stuck in a rut. So, you know, a lot of times we've been uh, programmed for success. But however, you know what? We right here, man, I tell you what, failure is on the horizon. Oh, say that again, failure. Let me get my pen. Failure is what now? It's on the horizon. Mm. You, you know, they, people are, I'm glad you said that, failure. It, it's the fear of failure that stops people from succeeding. And, uh, as a coach, as a mentor, as a business developer, as a business owner, myself, your partner directly, I, I, I talk to a lot of people that are in fear of losing what they have. But here's the key about it. And fear of losing what they have, what they have is not enough. So they don't operate in what they can have for fear of what they have. Can, can you, you know, expand, expand on that? 
man, I'll tell you what, you know, working for, like I said, working for them, but working for us. You know, the thing is, we need to go ahead and put ourselves in a position where we can win for our families. You know, if we don't have, like, I would say a dot com. For instance, a dot com today is very important for every family to have one because you have if you don't have a dot com, you have a not com. So if we're going to be able to compete and earn money for our families and build a legacy, we're going to have to do what the we'll say the big boys would do. We're going to have to because success leave clues. And all we have to do is just pick those clues up and follow them. Picking the clues up and following brings me to a good point. We, we, we come from a culture that generally we, we don't like to follow the next cat. We don't like to follow the next person or leader. And, and generally, since we haven't seen a level of success other than sports, music, entertainment of some sort, we may not subscribe to a, a possibility of success based on the environment, right? We, we've been raised around a, a culture, an environment of what success looks like, what it feels like, uh, what you must do to obtain it. And then we've been taught uh, of a culture of 40, 40, 40. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But we have a culture of fear of uh, losing. And we talked about that. But how about the culture of not having experienced success in teaching that? Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. You know, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> the culture of winning, you got to get around the right people in your circle to win. The circle in your corner, you need that kind of support. So when you got the right people in your circle, you can win, Mr. Owens. Excuse me, one minute. I got. I need to step out, Mr. Owens, really quick. Some urgent. Got you in the background right there. Absolutely. Now, uh, get in that green room. Enjoy it. Now, with the with the culture and the environment that we come through, generally we haven't seen uh, the success principles of any kind of home based business. Generally, when you hear a story that says, you know about a concept about a business well, what we receive most times is a story of who it didn't work for why it didn't work for them situations of why they can't do it time constraints of this or that and, and generally they foisted these beliefs upon themselves of what they can't do but what becomes apparent is really getting uh over to what you can do and i think network marketing and home-based business ownership offers more than just owning a business it offers a culture of personal development the, the the bottom base of any business ownership model is a personal development concept that has a high level compensation plan attached to it now that's also available and optional but had i not been connected with the leaders that i have mentors coaches that happen to be in this or opportunity I could not, you know, develop some of the skills that I've developed for the price point of, of interest into the ownership. I got to say the amazing amount of uh, value that comes back to me in my own personal business dealings is amazing in itself. I like to say, you know, fight for the life you want to experience in your lifetime. The fight for the life, the, the life I want to experience in my lifetime means that I have to do a little bit something different than most of, of my experiences in my lifetime. So if I want to live something, do something, be something that I've never been, I'm going to have to do something, be something, and become something that I've never been. And that's where network marketing, home-based business ownership, uh, the opportunity to not only fight for what you want, but have an unlimited income opportunity while you do it. Now, uh, there's always a disclaimer that there's no get rich quick. There's no, uh, some make no money, some make much money. There's, but the effort and the production is totally up on you. And I'd rather be paid for what I can produce and help others produce, which is leverage income 
that for all of my hard work that's only accountable to the hours that I could work because I can only work so many hours. So here as we get into it, let's get a little mojo. Look forward to having my man back on the camera here where we can uh, really discuss the breakdown of owning your own business, why it's important, and we're going to get into the mindset that it takes to get on the other side of what we've never seen. Stand by. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. And look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that. Those normal people, it makes them feel like so they're gonna judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird, they're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're gonna be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me. What else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? People are gonna think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You out here talking about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. That's one of my philosophies. I, I, I love Kobe Bryant. You know, I got Kobe Bryant all over the place in here. Man. You know, my man, he, he's, he's right here behind me all the time, man. The philosophy of 
torture them with success. It's like, you know, why not live the best life that, that we can live? And, and to live the best life that we can live, we're going to have to put the best effort that we can give. Write that down. In order to live the best life that we can live, we're going to have to give the best effort that we can give. I don't know another way around. There's nothing I've ever had in my life that I've ever been able to get what I really want out of it without putting all of what I really had to put into it. And, and network marketing and home-based business ownership offers that. The world has changed. Uh, E-commerce is on the rise. Everything is done online. Who wants to go anywhere anyway? And when you go somewhere, you've already purchased your ticket to where you're going online. So why not, as Warren Buffett said, was... Uh, what you do for a hobby, for fun, should be a hobby. But what people do for business should be your business. That's just a philosophy there. And, and another one, he says, uh, if you use it and you own it, and you if you use it and you understand it, you should own it. If you use it and you understand it, you should own it. If you use it, you use a product, a service. You like the product the service. You understand how the product or the service works. And now how about owning a piece of it? We've seen that in a lot of different ways. Owning a piece of network marketing offers you to decide what industry makes sense to you. The industry that makes the best sense to me happen to be the industry of travel. Number one industry in the world and the company with Planet Marketing has absolutely changed my lives and my life and the lives of thousands wow. around tens of thousands, over 73,000 now around the world and just as an option of business how about being in a position to help people do what they want to do anyway what they're going to do anyway what they need to do anyway and their the income helping them do what they're going to do anyway planet marketing we'd like to talk to you about it and uh we'll see right on the other side a little bit of information of the impact of the travel industry itself stand by our planet. The planet is getting smaller and smaller. Why? How? Travel. It used to take months to travel from here to here. It used to take weeks to travel from here to here. It used to take days to travel from here to here. Now, you can be from here to here in virtually no time. You can be from here to here in a matter of hours. You can be from here to here. From here to here. Or here to here. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's traveling. Travel. And it's a big business. It's the largest industry on the planet. It's a business you can be a part of. Travel can take you from where you are to where you want to go. A travel business can take you from where you are to where you want to be. For you, for your family, for others. Hey, John Owens here. I want to invite you to a quick 30-minute webinar on Zoom in the other room on how you can put yourself in the owner seat in the number one industry in the world, the industry of travel in e-commerce earning an income from home doing what we all want to do anyway again my name is kajana i want to look forward to working with you and we just share some information it's having fun let's do what we love to do and helping people do it to it earning the income helping other people this is it's as simple as that um liking who you're around uh, the synergy of the people the culture of the company the leadership the support the things that we need at work to how about having that at your own home where you could operate a business in your office down the hallway in the other room instead of down the freeway and that whatever we got to go to to make sure that we pay the bills that's that's life how about living and creating a life and we look forward to share with you uh, how to design an ideal life with this amazing uh, business model so if you're available this morning 18 8 a.m uh Pacific Standard Time this morning, we will be having a virtual Zoom overview, which you can attend online. No, no need to go anywhere. Even if you're on, on your way to work, you can listen to it on your way to work, right? Uh, 
So those of you that would like to attend, just send a message to you. You could text 909-686-1698. We'll get you some information about that. You could also uh, reach out to my main man, Mr. Neosha Morris, at his number right here. scrolls through and let him know you be able, you want to attend Zoom access, and, and we'll get you that access right on over to you. Not a problem at all. As we get ready to close out this morning, i got to say, if you have anything in your heart and your mind and your passion and your design to do with your life, it doesn't matter if it's this or if it's that, but make sure it's something. Make sure it's something that you apply to what you want in your life that has something that has more significance than yourself in your life at this time. I believe that it's, it's about what the next, could have, especially when you get a little gray in your beard, right? You get a little gray, you, it's a little bit past your time maybe time to enjoy time to uh enjoy the experience of getting some of that gray but the real focus is what not that we give to someone but what we leave into someone so i look forward to leaving a legacy leaving a a passion of, of, of and will to, to not just be but not just exist but to live not just to uh survive but to thrive and all of those things right there just like you so to my fellow grindologists out there uh, good morning to you good morning to you make sure that you you, you, you do the best you can towards what you want to do it's 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 really optional you could give a little you could give a lot you could give just enough so they don't fire you and they'll pay you just enough so you don't quit that's like purgatory in the middle. Get out of the middle. Jump into the game. Again, I gotta share this right here. This is going this this Friday. This we call Freedom Friday, Mr. Orlando Moore. I follow you, sir. You're an amazing leader. Freedom Friday all the way, man. We got so many different uh, presentation opportunities throughout the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as we go, as I share this video once again, man, get up, get out there, make it happen. The only thing, the only thing, the only thing that works is the work, the work, the work, the work, the work. One of the biggest contradictions of massive success is when people go to their moms, their dads, their brothers, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, they say, listen, one day the world's going to know who I am. One day I will have a Ferrari, the Lambo, the Rolls, the Bentley, the big house, the cars, the backyard with the big swimming pool and an elevator. I'm going to put the biggest party. I'm going to be a millionaire one day. Yet, instead of staying at the office on Friday night, you call your friends and you go party. Instead of waking up Saturday morning to go to the gym, you sleep until 10 o'clock. Instead of reading the book on Sundays, you kick back and watch movies all day long. The reality is very simple. Those who win big, they do four things right. They sleep, sweat, grind, repeat. And they do it over and over and over again until their dreams become a reality. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. You gotta have the mentality to show up every day of your life, no matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life, prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new 100%. You still must grind. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do. But still I grind. And that one day, you see me on a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. So you can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock and get up and go pursue your dreams. You need to walk through the mud and life gods. If you ever want to get to the higher ground, the higher ground 
is where you look in the mirror and you have respect that you went through the work, the sweat equity of it all, and the end product is something you travel, a legacy of life that you put your signature to that means something. You're not speaking hollow words. You're back to those motherfuckers up with that. That's what lions do. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions are That's what we do for a living. I still grind. I love to grind. If you're competing in one of my businesses, I'm going to kick your ass because I'm going to outgrind you. You have to be willing to work in places people don't see. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. There's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have. Who wants the position you are? Who wants the job you have? Who wants the wife that you have? Or the husband? There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you can have. So make that a motivation for you. And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. We don't have forever. Let's not act like it. We're all going to die. And so I don't act like I'm going to live forever. So every opportunity I get, I murder it. Process driven. I love it. I'm about that life. I get up every morning at 3 o'clock. When I want to get up, when I don't. When I feel like it and I don't feel like why? Because I'm process driven. Driven. I'm not feeling driven. Champions are not feeling driven. Champions don't get up when they want to. And if we're going to be champions, process driven. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. If we're going to be process, uh, champions, process driven. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. And just in about 90 minutes, we'll be doing a, a virtual overview on Zoom in the other room. Contact me for the Zoom uh, ID. We'll get that over to you. Uh, you can send a, a message to John Owens. Uh, send a message right in here. And we look forward to seeing you. We got one star director, Marva Jones, on deck this morning. I'm really, really super excited about that. If you or have the mindset of, you know what, I could do, I could do it. Matter of fact, I could do anything I want to do if I put my effort to what I want to do. We see you on the other side. Great morning out there. Enjoy climbing the mountain. Process driven. Have an amazing day. On purpose, we look forward to seeing you on the other side of success. Success, love, speed, operating in the spirit of success. Get out there and get it and make it happen for yourself and your family. If not for you, do it for them. We see you on the other side.